Well, hello! So it is another beautiful day in Slovenia. The sun is shining, but it is still cold. So, still wearing my most wintry outfit, just with a cardigan this time, rather than my big jumper. So yesterday we did the National Museum. And we are currently in a little museum square, which we didn't expect it to be, but we've got the Modern Art Museum behind us. We've just been in the Applied Arts section of the... National Slovenia. Yeah, National Museum. Slovenia Museum, which was fairly interesting. Not a long stop, it's only two floors and we went around it pretty quickly. But there were some interesting pieces yeah. and some nice furniture and stuff to look at. So what are we going to do next? Uh, Part two of the National Museum. Makes sense. Makes sense. We've also had a very lazy start today because we've got two whole days here and we've worked out there's not a huge amount to do. So we're taking it slow and easy. Unless you like into walking. But we don't have walking boots. So. No, it's definitely a good place to come if you like hiking and nature. But we're very much doing city stuff, I think, for the next few days. We'll see you at the next museum. <laughs> sides of the town so you sort of have to walk through old town to get to them they're about a 10 minute walk away from each other maybe 15. that one was a lot better i thought that one was a lot better i think that's the main one it's also got the natural history museum in it which i personally would have loved to do but we didn't realize when we booked it that it didn't include that and that was really interesting that took you through the history of slovenia sort of focusing on Ljubljana but not really just kind of the history of Slovenia from prehistoric times like Neanderthal times they have this really cool Neanderthal flute as it's called which they reckon is about 50,000 60,000 years old which is insane then we went on the graffiti tour which is done by Alternative Ljubljana it's a free tour but we always tip the guide we tend to tip about five euros that's what we've done for everybody or roughly about that amount in whatever currency it is five minutes most um Usually they do the background first and then they do the outlines of the letters and for the really interesting our guide was really good but she more told you how to read graffiti the general history of graffiti a little bit about why it came to, to Slovenia, the contrast between graffiti and street art and sort of the conflicts around it and then she does tell you a little bit about certain pieces but it's not going to walk you through necessarily like these are the most iconic bits of graffiti in Slovenia, and this is what they were doing um, if you're looking for that kind of tour I would suggest this is not the tour for you She thinks the likelihood that she's a graffiti artist. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> actually end up in the applied arts section of the natural of the history museum or the national museum that's called and there's an area called there called Metokovo that's a really cool area so it's been autonomous for 26 years nobody lives there so they started off squatting there basically once the Yugoslav army left 
some of the protesters and the anti-establishment people had a deal with the government so they could live there and then the government went back on it and they've been squatting it ever since. But it's more set up as a community so it does workshops and it arranges music concerts and all sorts of stuff like that. Didn't take too many pictures or videos because there are obviously people there who go there every day who don't want their faces shown because they are technically doing something illegal like I think it's one of those things where it's like it's illegal but the government can't let it slide because it's been going on for so long but technically it is illegal so they don't want their pictures being shown which is understandable and the whole area is just covered in really beautiful graffiti and street art and people from around the world come and add to it. But the plan for today is to go to the castle because everyone says that's like the top thing to do in Ljubljana and we haven't done it yet. So this is the funicular to get up to the castle and we're about to go on it because we are because <laughs> it's all quite steep. But I imagine we have to pay. How much do you think it's going to be? Oh, there's quite a pile of people. It kind of looks like it's a lift, but like a slightly horizontal one. Okay, let's see how much it costs. Someone said the Time Machine Guided Tour is very good. Basic ones, yes, but it's whether we want any of these experiences. Do we want the time machine to sit on the escape cutter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm quite intrigued by it, but I don't know what it entails. What do you think? Um, part of me says for an extra two euros, it might be worth doing something just to get a bit more out of it because that'll be it, won't it? That'll yeah. be, and then I assume. What one would you rather do? Looks like they're more 15 euros. Mm. Part of me wants to be like, what's the adventure game? Yeah. <laughs> Should we ask about the adventure game? Yeah. Where did we get tickets? Before that, got our own little adventure. Uh, we're in the queue to get up to the funicular to get to the castle, and these two Irish ladies are very distressed because one of them has left a hat in the toilet. And they're due to get on a bus. So they couldn't stay and do it themselves, so they have passed it on to us, and we now have to find the hat she left in the coffee shop toilets and then post it to Ireland for her. Because I'm too nice, and when they were saying, Does anyone speak English? I was like, Oh, I do. Unfortunately, in this case, I do. <laughs> so, wish us luck. We'll tell you if we find the hat. Update on the hat. Cafe staff not hopeful. No. Nope. Very unhopeful. <laughs> they are like, mm, probably not. <laughs> like, okay. And amazingly, when you explain it's not your hat, they get even more like, why are you looking for this hat? Toilets this way. Is that free you'd find? Plan is to post it when we get back to. Oh Jesus! You all right? <laughs> Plan is to post it when we get back to the UK because we leave Ljubljana tomorrow. <sighs> now we can go to our escape room. All's well that ends well. Mm -hmm.